What's happening people? In this video, we're talking about how to set up your ad and what ad copy to use, what to put, what to type, and how to structure your link so that you get the highest click-through rate. So, let's get into it. So what type of ad do you use? Well, I'm talking about the 1200 by 1200 photo post. That is the most profitable ad for me. I recommend you using it when you're selling custom merch on Facebook. It is the longest. It's been around the longest. It's worked the longest. It's not new. Facebook's algorithm knows what to do with this ad and knows how to send what, what type of people you want. And it's not sending you uh, junk clicks. Use the 1200 by 1200 photo post. Okay. But let's talk about ad copy right now. So, what does the ad copy look like when you're selling custom merch on Facebook? Well, let me go over to my power editor or ads manager and let me show you. So let me close this. Don't save. I'm going to head over to my ads tab in ads manager. You could be in power editor too. It's the same. And then I'm going to preview my ad. Now, so what we have here is a very basic. This is actually the same uh, ad copy that I have used for the past two years. I have not changed it. I use it for all my PPE tests. I use it all for the same exact for all my WC uh, campaigns. It has worked wonders. It continues to work. It's simple. It gets the click through and it converts. It makes sales. Why complicate things? Do not have a wall of text in here. Do not have multiple, uh, do not have multiple links. Keep it to one link. Do not use Google redirects. Do not use bit.ly redirects. Do not use tiny URL or any of the shorteners, right? You want to have your own custom domain on Shopify and you want to create a, your own redirect using Shopify's tool. And I will show you that right now. So what you do is head over to Shopify. You got your store. You're going to head over to navigation. Okay. And I'm going to go to redir your own redirects. So if I had a custom domain on this store, which I do not, then the store would be in this case i probably would have named it mobwatches so mobwatches.com instead of mobwatches.myshopify right so mobwatches.com and if i set up a redirect i'm going to show you that right now where do i want the the url to go well first you want to create a product or you want a product so let's let's i don't know what i have on these i don't know what products i have in the store okay so let's just choose a watch right here this is an example. This is the test store. So this is not live or anything. I don't care if you see this stuff. Um, so if I, oh, this is a preview. We want to, let's publish this on the online store so that I can create a link so that I can make an ad for this product. Okay. Okay. So let's, let's grab this link. Okay. So you have a link, something like this. We don't need the variant. You don't need the variant stuff. So we got our ad or whatever. And this is slash product slash awesome something something whatever you want to name it in, in Shopify, right? Well, if this was named, uh, you know, two and one uh, quartz awesome watch, I don't know, it has a technical name here, or it could, right? You want to make it a Facebook friendly URL for your ad. So you do not want to use the normal uh, page on Shopify and you do not want to put this in your ad. It's too long. It's ugly. Uh, what you want to do is you want to go to what did i say now we can close this you want to go to that online store navigation redirects i'll just do show you that again so our online store navigation go to redirects and you're going to create a custom you redirect url inside of shopify that's going to send people on your ad in facebook to a friendly url so this is the shopify page that i want to send people to and i want to call this a facebook friendly name so i'm going to call it just awesome uh i don't know whatever whatever it should be awesome wall awesome watch deal of the day right i don't know so whatever you want to call it i just made that up it can be whatever but if i had a custom domain it would be mobwatches.com i would get a custom domain i don't have it set up now but you get rid of my shopify so mobwatches.com slash awesome watch deal of the day and you add that because now you're sending the people to your store. And so what you have is, well, you should not actually do that because we want to put the dash. So delete that one. Let's, let's try this again. Make a mistake. It's okay. Add a redirect. 
paste the, the long one there. Awesome. And don't use all caps either. I, I don't know why I did that. Awesome. Watch. Put it. Put the dashes in there. Okay. Watch. Deal. Of the day. Okay. Perfect. Now it looks friendly and nice. I add that. Now, if you go to the website and just do this, oh, I got two of them. You don't need to. So that would be mobwatches.com slash awesome watch deal of the day. And now you can put this link in your URL. So I go to that. It's going to take me to the same page, right? Because it just does a redirect. But this is what you want to use in your, in your ad. So then if you're setting up a link here, this is mobwatches.com slash, right? Mobwatches.com slash awesome watch deal of the day. How do you do that? Well, let me show you. Go here, press the plus button, and you can drop this in there right there. And I like to keep the ad copy super simple, right? So I'm going to say want, like this, want one, boom. And I'm going to go to my emoji, emoji, Facebook. Always throw emo emoji inside your ad copy. It's going to have a higher uh, click through rate. It's really good. And another thing you can do, I'll, I'll teach you this right now, is you can put these emojis, take a screenshot. If you know um, Photoshop or you know uh, how to edit images, go to here, right? And see on this, see this photo right here? Put an emoji somewhere on the photo. Like, like what's a good one? Like, oh, like this one, like, oh, wow. Put the wow emoji or something like that on the actual image itself with a photo editor. It will help you get a higher click-through rate. But I normally put a, a couple emojis in the ad copy too, and I'll do that right now. So let's, what is this? So let's grab, I know, wow. So we copy the wow face, and where's my stuff? This video is becoming too long, but it's okay. Oh, now I erased my, oh, there you go. Put a wow, and we wanna put, ah, uh, we wanna put a link. So this doesn't have, I went to the wrong emoji. Let's try a different one. List of emojis on Facebook. There's so many of these websites. I forgot which one I use. There's one that gives me a little arrow and that's the one I'm trying to find right now. All of these are junk. Basically what I'm trying to find is this little blue arrow and then it would look like this or something, right? But I don't know where that is because this is also the wrong website. There we go. This is the one I want. Okay. There we click on this. We copy this. Go over here. Boom. Done. Now we got a like this one, one emoji, arrow, link, and you want to upload a photo, whatever you want your photo to be. Do I have any photos? Okay. I'm going to choose this photo. Whatever. It does not matter for this. I'm just showing you. You want your photo to be that product, obviously. And then boom. Now we have our link. And sometimes it looks like this. Just you got. I guess I, I did a space. You just mine it. Redo the ad, and get rid of the space. So then it has the link uh, without the drop down. So it doesn't drop off into a next line. And then that's it. That is basically how you set up your ad copy for a very simple photo post ad. And I'm telling you, it works amazing. It works great. You, now you don't have to copy this exact ad copy. You can change to whatever you want. Uh, just keep it simple. That's the point I'm trying to make. Keep it simple. Set up your URL with with your Shopify redirect and you will have success. Uh, like I said, just simple is more better and have it a branded domain. Do not have a bit.ly. Do not have a Google URL. Do not have a shortener. Use your branded domain, but use a redirect. And that is how you actually create a much better experience for people. And they're going to be more likely to click on your ads. You're going to have a higher click-through rate, which is going to have more profit. And this is a little trick I want to show you in this video. Guys, I hope this makes sense. I hope you have, if you have any questions, post them in the comments and I'm going to see you in the next video where I show you another technique or tactic to help you run your Facebook ads more effectively and sell some custom merch on Facebook. Guys, I will see you next time.